It's a brand new season. Yeah. <laughs> and there's so much to do. We want to always catch them, always hit home runs. But that's not how it happens, at least not for us. This is reality. We're going to show you what really happens, <laughs> good or bad, rain or shine. This is our home. This is Erie, Erie Extreme. I'm Chris, and you're watching Erie Extreme. This is Bill Bentley with Bentley Tree Care, and we have the challenge of all challenges. Hey, Nate. Hey, Dave. What's happening? Yeah, I'm headed back from our office in Pittsburgh. Cool, you got the challenge for us? Oh yeah, how about a little stress for you? Okay, so Bill for Bentley Tree Care, one of our clients, submitted a challenge, and this is big. If you can beat his challenge, he will become the presenting sponsor of the We Create Eerie Extreme Challenge episodes for all of season two. Dang, what is it? What is it? No clue. Just meet him at East End Angler at 7.45 a.m. should you choose to accept this challenge. Good luck. It's finally Sunday, getting ready to go fishing with Dave. So we're waiting for Bill to show up. We're pretty anxious. We know he has a challenge for us, but we literally have no idea what that's going to be. Can you believe this stuff? Seriously. Yeah, I can. Because I mean, yesterday the lake was flat as a pancake. It was beautiful out yesterday. Doesn't look too bad. This is just normal filming weather for us. <laughs> Ryan. I'm not kidding. I'm just Good. looking at the weather. It's a great day to shoot. Dave called. Thought we were going pike fishing. Got all my stuff together. Drove up. Realized pretty quickly when we got here. That's not what we were doing today. I'm going to introduce you to a few people. This is Brian, the sales manager at Palmero Toyota. This is Lynn and Kirk. They own East End Angler, our meeting spot this morning. Look at that. Sorry. Dave's like right Ooh. in the line of fire. Oh, yeah. In that case, bring on the fire. And on his way is Bill of Bentley Tree Care. I've known Bill for a few years. He cleared my land when we built the house and his crew is the best at what they do. Okay, it's go time. Bill finally shows up and he's not driving your typical road-worthy vehicle. Nice to see you. We're, nice we're incredibly anxious to find out what our challenge is, but it's starting to rain as usual, so let's go inside and figure it all out. Okay. I have my brother Bob here. We watch the show and I've worked for you over the years and what we've decided is that you're gonna catch a fish with the largest fishing pole ever used. This could be a Guinness record if we do it right. We're gonna provide the fishing pole. Fishing pole is gonna be a 30 ton crane with 112 <laughs> foot of stick. You guys gotta figure out how to catch this fish. Now we know why he drove up here in a crane. <laughs> There's one more thing. Of course. We've got four hours to get this challenge done. From when? From when we leave the parking lot. This is Sunday and there's football on. <laughs> <laughs> I say we go for it. What do you think, Bray? He's got to be the one that does it. No, he didn't say that. I didn't say. Uh-uh. That's not what he said. Nice try, Bree. Let's just get the logistics down before we start we talking about it. Cause okay. I don't even know if it's legal and we don't want to be... His... Let me call Ed. Yes, David. Edward, how you doing? I'm doing good, David. How are you? I'm good. I got another crazy question for you. Oh, another challenge question? Yeah. What are you doing today? Uh, just heading in from Northeast 20 Mile Creek. What's up? Can you come down to East Angler real quick for a couple minutes so we can talk to you? Absolutely. I can be there in about 10 minutes. Okay. Awesome. Bye. See ya. Got lucky on that one. Did you see the crane when you pulled in? I did. Bill Bentley Bill. Tree Care. He took my trees down, what, five, six years ago? Yeah. We have to beat his ridiculous challenge. It's a good challenge. It is a good challenge. It's, it's ridiculously good. Challenge. So what are you going to do with the crane? It's ridiculous because he's frustrated. What's We're going to go fishing. Oh. So we need to find out if this is legal or not before we start panicking and trying so to... So what? how does the challenge with the crane go? What? what are you going to try to catch the fish with the crane? We're, what, the boom of the crane is basically the fishing pole. My interpretation of the crane is that it is not a legal device. The idea being... Okay, good, let's go. <laughs> that was easy. 
you know, he's running the fishing pole from right. those controls and the, the rod can be up there by itself. I did my research. I'm glad Ed is here to make sure that everything is done legally on his end. I assume that that would be true. Someone needs a fishing license and a fishing pole. Or I need to run the crane. You can't run the crane. I can't run the no, crane. No, I checked on that. <laughs> what if the fisherman is literally hanging fishing from the air? There's no regulations in the books that say at where whether you're in the water, on the land, in the air. We need a fishing pole with a licensed person okay. attached to it somehow. I got a feeling they want you up in the crane. Well, we'll figure Without that out. You're going up. <laughs> Somebody's going up. I got an idea. A great idea. I don't want to hear your idea. You can look at my idea. He's standing right over there. Okay. I'm not doing that. Okay. <laughs> you still got the drone? Yeah. Are you guys free today? Where are you at? What's the chances you could meet us and just talk about, we got something crazy going on. A team is coming together, but we need a break in the weather or we're done. It's only blowing 30 yeah. out there. We're at the wind limits that we don't want to be over right now. We, we need to keep the crane low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got to look mm -hmm. at our sights. When we get there, I'll make a decision whether it's safe to what put a, the crane oops. up. And then Dave will have to grow a set before we get there and we will give it a whirl. I thought it was a pair. I don't know where we can catch a fish from the bank except for the bed. Well, I don't know if we can do the crane out on Misery Bay without some type of permit. Call Kirk, if they're catching perch, guys, we're bringing in perch on Friday when I came. Hey, Kirk, where are you at? Oh, outside. We're in your smokehouse. We need we need to talk to you. One thing we haven't talked about, this has to be a legal length of a fish. Yeah. Come here. Kirk. Oh, hey, how you guys doing? We're trying to decide where we fish. I would go to 12 Mile Creek. Well, we got to remember we have Crane. Does he know we're fishing off of a Tell crane? Tell him. All right. <laughs> My only thought is, I mean, I stopped Friday. You were cleaning perch. Those yes. guys are catching oh, them all over I forgot the place. About that. Yeah. And those are going to bite. That's a good bite, idea. Yeah. And all he's got to do okay. is pick up. Okay. All okay. All the boats. I like are that out. idea. All I the boats like that. Are out. That's clean. way better. It's a big area. Whatever fish we catch needs to be a legal Definition size. Definition of catch. Hooks. We have to see the fish out of the water. No. He doesn't oh, have to no, land. No, no. We gotta yeah. measure this Definition thing. of a, a Definition. Catch count in your hand. It's in the boat, as we say, right? <laughs> in the, Dave, in the if crane. If you don't make the boat, it's not legal. So we gotta be holding it. Yeah. All right. My wife wants to know if everything's all right. Got everything figured out, Ann. I'm going fishing in a crane Andy, in the lightning storm. Life insurance this month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that laugh said it all. I like that. I like that. Party at Ann's tonight. Yeah. <laughs> might be all right. Yeah, what can happen? What uh, what did you want? Nothing, I just wanted to make sure you're still alive. Okay. <laughs> I'm still alive. Call me back later, though. Remember one thing, guys. Much fun as we have, this is all serious when we get there. We don't want anyone to get hurt. We were thinking this thing through. Yep. We've talked about everything that can go wrong, and you're going to see if you can catch a sponsor. Season 2 of Eerie Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, we create the Avonia Tavern, fishingonline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. I'm serious. I'm looking at my radar. I like mine better. It's not my radar. It's Huge. Weather channel yeah, but look, there's Erie. Huge gap. I think we got to work in that gap right there. Okay. We're going. So, are we ready? I got 9.20. The clock starts now. Uh, everyone's standing out there in the rain. I'm thinking, you got to be a little nuts to try to do this today. Where are we going? We don't know how to get there. Everybody left. We're going to follow Kirk. Yeah, it's there. Let's go. There's no bathroom at the country fair, so I'm hitting the red apple that's farther down. <laughs> Okay, thanks for letting us know. That's awesome. Good call. Glad I answered. Turn right at the museum, and there's a big parking lot there, I think. Beautiful weather. What have you been doing? Just driving around looking for places, or what? We're going to go find a spot where the wind's not blowing too strong, and uh, hang off a crane and fish. Are you serious? Blowing and raining, and uh, At least you can swim. it's a good chance you won't hear my voice again after this. Good chance, what? Come around the other side of the library and take a left and come towards the water. All right, I'll find you. Let's scope it out. This is kind of cool, huh? 
raining cats and dogs. We couldn't have picked a worse day to do this. Let me see here where you're at. I think we should go over here because it's about 25 to 35 feet deep. Really? Yeah. You mean like right over there in that corner right here? No, right here. Oh, in the boat slip. OK. Yeah. I didn't even know we could get there. Yeah. And it's good parking for the crane. <laughs> Who's the lucky person who's going to hang off the crane? Do you want to do, you want to do it? Have you ever done this before? <laughs> Unlike Dave, I'm man enough to go up on the crane. You're going to do it first. You just test everything out. Like, you know, like, I got this guy that's a little overweight that I ice fish with. We got time for a real quick story. What do you think about right now? This is the break. I mean, it's getting brighter. Yeah, I is can this, find this. OK. So Landon's with Angler. He's in town today. So we're going to hook a tracker, a tracking device up to my rod because we don't get the opportunity to. Yeah, we'll be the first people to ever get uh, fishing data from a crane. So is this line too heavy? Like what pound test? Does it matter? Yeah, this is 12. It should. Okay, it shouldn't. I brought an orange, a really bright reel so we can see it way up there in the sky. This was designed for high altitudes. Just to be clear, this isn't something that I dug out of my tackle box. This is a. What do you call this thing? Three arm per tray. This is legal? Three hooks at one time? Yeah, unlimited hooks. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't, I don't need to call Ed back. No. Okay. In my opinion, it's a little bit of cheating, but it's perfectly legal. We need to catch a fish. We got a lot riding on this challenge. So by golly, we got three hooks. And we're just going to put minnows on there. Get her done. Awesome. I need a safety harness in case I drop the pole. It floats. <laughs> you can actually go on to fishingonline.com and get this outfit. It's a floating outfit. We started something called Yak Approved. Yeah. So those kayak guys are always dropping yeah. stuff in the lake. So that's actually one of those floating. That's awesome. Rod and reels. Yikes. Sun's coming out. I know. I told you. Kirk's running over right now to go try to get a life jacket. Technically, we don't really need one because we're fishing from a crane but uh, we're gonna get one anyway. <laughs> How am I bringing the fish in? So you gotta bring me over the railing? To catch it, you gotta be holding it. So I gotta hold it well out there. Yeah, you gotta reel it all the way, all the way up. up. You're gonna be like way up there. We're going up. We're not going Dude, what do you think I'm not doing it for? There's, There's no point there. in going up. In case you haven't noticed, points don't exactly exist today. Yeah, we, uh, we don't have our fishing expert with us anymore. He went to go get a life jacket. Every place we're tying in, everything we do is all, all good. That's we're good. I feel good. perfectly safe. Do you really? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was told that you were going to hang from the crane. If, if this goes well, I might. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. This happens Dude, to be the perfect spot. I'm really smart. Can you swim with all that stuff on? Probably not, but that's OK. How deep is that water right there? That's only 32 feet. Seriously, that's the knot that's going to That's it. That's the two half inches. <sighs> that's it? It well, cinches up. Well, got a stopper on the end. I mean, that's all, that's all legit. It's all about friction. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of. So I'm not hooked into the big does hook. He, I'm into this little hook. Does he Correct. have to sign that's something it. first? No, no, he's all right. We got a contract, you and I do. Really? Uh, this is all. Um, we don't have a contract. <laughs> what exactly this, does that mean? This, we're going to put a safety line through there. There, okay. I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, we got two different methods of hooking you. Now, you sit in this saddle. Get the weight in there, OK? OK. And then when the rope, we'll set the rope, OK? Yeah. So that's all set. Then you're ready to roll. OK. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. That's uh, good. <laughs> You'll never go fishing with me again. No. You? There's your fishing this helmet. In case you fall on your head. No, this okay. is so I don't hit you. Hit me with that. I hope you feel safe. I do. I feel. I, what could go wrong? Launch them. But we have to catch a perch, right? Okay. Oh yeah, this is actually kind of nice. Isn't it? This should be no challenge at all, really. <laughs> I feel pretty good. I feel good. There's a guy just nice solid ground. Oh, yeah, this is this is good. Are, you ready? Are we live? Yeah. We got a challenge today and that has something to do with it. I was supposed to be doing that, but I'm too scared. So I sent my buddy Brian who thinks we're going pike fishing on Finley Lake. What do you think, Kurt? You want it right on the bottom? This is a good spot, Kurt. Take your time, Brian. Got four hours. The longer it takes you to catch one, the less chance I have at doing that. How do you feel? Okay. Comfortable? I wouldn't go that far. You look comfortable. How much time we got before that storm gets here? How far that way can you go? Can you get him like that way and closer to the wall? He is trolling. I don't see the guinea pig. <laughs> oh man, I ain't doing it. Oh, he's got one. Fish on. Yes, he does. But it's got to be seven inches. Dude. Bum. Got off. Dang it. I'll go get the minnows. I think we found the way to do it. I think it was on the trolling. The movement helped. Hey, Brian. 
if we fail the challenge and Bill doesn't sponsor it, I was wondering maybe T Palmero might want to step it up a little bit. <laughs> hey, Brian, got a little proposition for you. Was that a bite? I got to be honest, it's a little difficult. Anyway, the title sponsorship is available. Oh, cool. While you're hanging over your death, I was wondering if you might be interested in doing that. How much is it? Isn't it like a million dollars? Ooh, he's got another one. I got this one. Uh -huh. No! It is not a keeper. Here, over here. That one's not gonna count, boys. Keeper, Bill. You're kidding me, after all that? Every bit of seven, probably nine. Too small? That's just barely bigger than the bait. That sucker cost you a lot of money. Yeah, about a grand an inch. Yeah, you, is he on there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a bigger one. I got another one. Oh, they're getting bigger. <laughs> that's a lot bigger. Come on, swing them over here. Man, we're gonna have to go review the footage. What did he exactly say about keepers or not? Legal length of a fish. Yeah. That's two short ones, but Get look out. Crane boys hooked up again. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I finally hook one, and now I'm heading to the stars. He's got two at one time. According to Bill's rules, I got to get this fish in my hands. Now I'm hooked up to everything. I've never been under this much pressure to catch such a small fish. $3,000 an oh. inch, Bill. It is not seven inches. Success. Would you stop saying that? Wait, it's close, isn't it? How do we measure it? We just seven say it's seven. Inches. According to Bill, our fish has to be over seven inches yeah, long. I'm broke. This is six inch better than that. But if this is over seven, I'm not broke anymore. Uh-oh. He's over seven. We got it. That's seven inches. Wow. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me after all this. It's a $10,000 fish right there. <laughs> Dave, you owe me big time. If we, do, if we catch two at the same time, you double it for every fish that's on there. <laughs> we did it. That's there actually is. legal. That is legal. <laughs> it's official. Thanks to me, Bentley Tree Care yeah. is a sponsor. Yeah. Hey, you want to hold him? Oh, yeah. I'm glad I'm part of an episode that Dave caught a fish. I think you should ride home with it on the seat. And I'm glad Bill thinks I caught a fish. Let's let him go. He did his job. They didn't start out with a lot of promise, but at the end of the day, I had a blast. This is a fishing trip I'll never forget. Fishing off a crane. Check that one off the bucket list. Well, it was quite a day. Started out iffy, looked like the rain was going to shut us down. Uh, great day, had a lot of fun. Why is everyone acting like it's over? My battery just died. It's daddy's turn. In the back of my truck, there's a, uh, I'd go, but I'm attached to a crane. <laughs> the, the ones that are in. Don't forget it's anything. There's like enough. all kinds of little things that can go wrong here. I don't I don't even really like this anymore. I thought I was good when watching him, fine. but now I'm not. Suck it in. How do I know that you did everything? Hey, Bob, what's he doing? He's over there fishing. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. No. Can you scope me out here? Look at this. Go practicing, man. Seriously, you got two pros <laughs> here. Let's do this. Do not try this at home. We are trained professionals, and that may sound like a joke, but it's not, is it? Oh, no, no, no. Everyone here has their certifications and know what they're doing. Oh, we're all certified. Uh, put the helmet on the other way. <laughs> how do I look? Bob, how come Bob don't listen? Does he do that to you, too? Oh, my God, you don't yeah. know what happened. Right? Scope, I want you to check everything. Look at all the little connection places. Take them up. <laughs> I'm no dummy. Wait, which one am I supposed to hold on to? Man, this helmet is heavy. What else should I have any more safety? There's got to be more. Nothing? Just hold on. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Let's take Dave for a ride. Oh, yeah. I just can't look down. I ain't liking this. Don't look down. I'm panicking. I can't do it. Terry, I'm taking him to the moon. Oh, my. Really, really windy up here. Is that OK, Bill? You know, Brian went up. How come he was so close to the water? Oh my. No whining, no nothing. Oh my. I don't like it. Can't look down. Dave. Can't look down. Whine the whole time. No, it's too windy. <laughs> too windy, Bill. <laughs> okay, I think it's dropping. I can't do that. Oh man. I gotta catch my breath. You actually look like you're working for a change. Dude, <laughs> I can't do heights at all. At least Brian took the pressure off, you know? <laughs> Good job. The only bad part about this is I feel like we're cutting this guy off here. He'd come down here on a Sunday day off of work, right? And here we are in a crane fishing right next to you. <laughs> you want to go up in the crane? I can't believe the weather laid up for us, though. That's amazing, isn't it? I prefer my boat. Definitely a little more fond of the boat fishing. My buddy, Bill. Well, I sure like to put my feet in the water. It's such a nice day. Thanks, Bill. My buddy, Bill. Oh, isn't this fun? How y'all doing? For God's sake. 
Take me to the fish. It's not like I got a trolling motor. Oh, look, he's got one. Get me over there. Yeah. So I'm going to do it like the other guys do it. <laughs> how you doing, bud? This is how they do it in the creeks, right? Yeah, yeah right. He caught a fish. Let's go over there. Bait my hook, minnow man. This is why we call him the minnow man right here. Service. Did I cross you? One of the dumbest things I've ever done. Fortunately, I've done a lot of dumb things. <laughs> Not that way. That way. <laughs> I hate that guy. Who hired this guy? Can you run the crane? What's he doing? Got a little wind, Gus. This is how they hang when they're cutting those trees? Come on, fish. I think you just, just, just take them all the way up. <laughs> Holiday. <laughs> Look at this. This guy's putting on a show. How am I not getting a bite? Does that not even make sense, does it? Take him up as far as you can take him up. Oh, they're taking me up, Kurt. Yeah, let's go up where it's windy again. Good idea, Bree. Thanks. Get me, tell him to get me over the water and not the concrete. My first crane cast. Oh, man. Still letting line out? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. No, I don't like this. Holy crap, how high is this? No, that's good enough. Tell him to stop. Good for the rating. What did he say, go up? Oh, man. I'm running out of line on my reel. Holy cow, I can see Waldemir. We just had him up 98 feet in the air. Blowing like 50 miles an hour up here. Oh, God. <laughs> Down! Oh, I'm running my money today, boys. You wouldn't believe how windy it is up there. I could see everything. I could see Waldemir. I just wanted to get all you idiots. What are you calling idiots when you're hanging out there? <laughs> you should think things through. Good point. I got a fish. I think. Yeah. Is it on there? Yeah, look at the size of this one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And for the record, it might actually be a keeper. Oh, dry land. Thank you, God. My first crane fish. Silver seven. Yeah. Double the money? <laughs> Good idea. Here it is. I'd like to mount it, but we're going to let him go, too. I'd walk over to the water, but I'm attached to a crane. You can walk over. Here we go, fish. It was fun. That was fun. I feel like connection here. You know what I mean? You want to touch it? Thanks, bud. It wasn't a big one, but definitely a first for me, and I'm just glad to be alive. <sighs> Thank you for not killing me. <laughs> I'd have never done it without seeing him do it. Our fishing career is over, huh? Next time we go fishing, Dave. I feel lighter. I'll make the plan. You couldn't have taken me two more feet? You said come down. <laughs> down! Seriously, we're talking three uh, digits I, as opposed to two. Know, well, welcome yeah. aboard. We're yeah. excited. Lots of good challenges. Yeah. This, none are going to top this one, though. Well, that was the idea. <laughs> cool. Drive safe. You might want to put them tires on the ground before you pull out. <laughs> Big thanks to everybody that helped out today. Couldn't have done it without you. That's good.